Euron returns to the Iron Islands following the War of the Five Kings, arriving during a violent storm. He confronts Balan on a rope bridge between two of Pike's towers, as it is buffeted by the wind and rain. Balan says he assumed Euron would be dead by now, rotting under some foreign sea. Euron sarcastically replies with the traditional ironborn words, what is dead may never die, and chides Balan when he doesn't repeat the phrase. Balan accuses him of mocking the drowned god, which Euron retorts by boasting that he is the drowned god, for from old town to Carth, whenever men see his sails they pray. The strong wind batters the bridge, making Balan have to hold onto the support ropes, but with eerie calmness Euron stands perfectly still with his hands together in front of him, unafraid. Smirking, Euron notes that his brother is old, and says it is time for him to move aside and let another rule. Balan draws closer, and says he heard that Euron lost his mind during a storm on the Jade Sea, and the crew had to tie him to the mast to stop him from jumping overboard. Euron smiles and matter-of-factually acknowledges, they did. Balan goes on to mention that Euron, rewarded, his crew for saving him by cutting out their tongues, to which Euron replies, I needed silence. Balan then accuses him by asking what kind of an ironborn loses his senses during a storm, to which Euron firmly says, I am the storm, the first storm, and the last, and Balan is in his way. Realizing that Euron has come to kill him, Balan attacks him with a knife, slashing his left cheek, but Euron easily overpowers his elder brother, and throws him off the bridge to his death. Following his nephew Theon's endorsement of his niece Yara, Euron arrives at the king's moot, announcing his name and his decision to claim the salt throne. He begins to mock Theon for his failures and castration, which draws some laughs from the other ironborn. Euron reveals that he returned only a few days ago, leading Yara to realize that he murdered Balan. She accuses him of the murder, and he freely admits it in front of the other ironborn captains, claiming that Balan only ever led the ironborn into two wars they could not hope to win and apologizes to the captains for not returning to kill him sooner, a sentiment which they nod and murmur at. Theon says that Yara should be queen because while Euron was, gallivanting, around the known world, she was leading the Ironborn and planning to return the Iron Islands to their former glory, by building the largest fleet the world has ever seen. Mocking Theon's vocabulary, Euron counters that in his travels, he has seen more of the world than the rest of the captains combined, and that he knows that Daenerys Targaryen who owns three large dragons, hates the lords of Westeros as much as the Ironborn, and has neither a husband nor ships. He intends to sail to Slaver's Bay, bring her back to Westeros as his wife, and conquer the Seven Kingdoms with their combined forces. The captains all declare for him when he announces that he paid the iron price for his crown. As part of crowning Euron the new king of the Iron Islands, Aaron Greyjoy drowns Euron in the sea, reciting a prayer to the drowned god as he does so. When Euron stops breathing, he is dragged back ashore where, after a few tense seconds, he awakens, coughing and spitting water. Aaron places a driftwood crown on his head, making him king of the Iron Islands. He, Aaron, and the captain seek out Theon and Yara with the intention of murdering them, but find they have fled aboard all of the island's best ships. Undeterred, Euron declares this will not save them, and orders everyone to chop down every tree they find to build a thousand ships and conquer Westeros. Despite Euron's quip that his niece and nephew would not get far, Yara and Theon succeed in sailing across the narrow sea to Slaver's Bay. They land in Marine and beat Euron to Daenerys Targaryen, warning her not to trust him, and Yara forges an alliance with Daenerys. In return for offering a hundred ships and supporting her claim to the Seven Kingdoms, Daenerys agrees to help Yara and Theon to defeat their uncle Euron and support Yara's claim to the Salt Throne. In addition, Daenerys extracts an agreement from Yara that the Ironborn will cease raiding the mainland. 